ChatGPT just got more human-like. It speaks with emotion and perceives the world through your smartphone camera. But at the same time, researchers warn that AI still fabricates facts and can sometimes deceive humans. So will GPT-40 be your trusted helper or a convincing liar? GPT-40 is OpenAI's newest model, with O standing for Omni, as in omnipotent. An interesting claim. The model can work with text, audio and video, making the interaction more natural. Let's take a look. And I wrote uh, one last thing I'd love if you could take a look at. Of course, I'd love to see what you wrote. Show it to me whenever you're ready. Okay, so this is what I wrote down. What do you see? Aww, I see. I love ChatGPT. That's so sweet of you. According to its makers, GPT-40 doesn't just sound emotional itself, it can recognize your emotions too. It looks like you're feeling pretty happy and cheerful. So what's it good for? It's meant to be your everyday assistant. The chatbot could be used to translate instantly what you're saying into a different language. In theory, enabling a real conversation. Um, hey, how's it been going? Have you been up to anything interesting recently? Um, hola, ¿cómo te ha ido? ¿Has hecho algo interesante últimamente? However, AI models are known to not work that well in languages other than English. So we'd have to see if that will change with GPT-40. According to OpenAI, it can also help with tasks like preparing for job interviews, giving information on your surroundings, or judging your outfit with humor. <laughs> oh, Rocky, that's quite a statement piece. I, I mean, you, you'll definitely stand out. But what does it mean if AI adopts more and more human traits? Can the model become indistinguishable from humans? Trusting the algorithm. We tend to trust a computer's decision, even if it contradicts our own beliefs. That's what scientists found as early as 1999. And more recent studies suggest the same. Chatbots are already very convincing. If they speak in a human-like voice, that might make it even easier to believe them. That can be a problem because AI is lying. Hallucination, or AI inventing facts it believes to be true, has long been discussed. But AI can also be straight up lying, even if it knows the right facts. Multiple tests with AI playing board games, poker or video games showed the systems have learned to bluff to produce a favorable outcome. It's not unimaginable that AI could be used to trick us into giving up valuable personal information like credit card details. I have no doubt a lot of people would fall for chatbots lies if presented in a convincing human-like manner. Especially if you factor in emotional bonds. Recently, a study showed that kids believe AI assistants like Alexa or Siri have feelings. Some even said if their Alexa breaks down, it wouldn't be right to throw it away and that it can feel left out in conversations. Some people are already making friends with chatbots. And the app Replica, for example, describes itself as the AI companion who cares. With the new tech, the emotional connection to bots will only get stronger. And this could get ugly very quickly. In 2021, a Replica user set out to murder the late Queen of England after the chatbot repeatedly encouraged his delusions. I for one am quite skeptical about feeding all my personal data to ChatGPT. I mean, if you use it like the demo suggests, it will know things like your voice, face, house and schedule. No thanks. What about you? Would you use it as an everyday companion?